r slash ask reddit what is so ancient only an internet veteran can remember going into aol chat rooms and saying hey they put a fireworks show into the chat hold alt and hit f4 and you'll see it then watching as one by one chat room participants disappeared aol tech live support person here the amount of times I had to answer why no fireworks and ask them to try again and let me know if it is fixed now just so I could laugh is pretty high. The Harmacist. Having to actually type out http colon slash slash www before entering the website. I honestly still do it a lot. Wait you don't have to do that anymore? Duck me. You forgot the construction worker excavating gifs and the under construction banner. Please sign the guest book. GeoCities was the shit. Real player. Also, uninstalling real player. Yep, and quick time. Reminds me of those postage stamp size movies at 6 FPS. Counters on web pages. When doing research online wow this site has had 300. 000 people visit. The information must be legit. I was taught in school that you could check the credibility of a website based on the counter. Skull and crossbones. Floppy disks and CDs that came in the mail containing 500 free hours from AOL. One of my sister's friends decorated their dorm with those. They stuck them on the ceiling and had enough to cover the whole thing. It was interesting Dagor. This sounds like some shit a tech startup would do in a breakout room. Stickdeath. Com. Flash animations of stick figures being killed in funny ways. Between Stick Deeth and the Zhao Zhao animations games, the nascent internet was a horrifying place to be a stick person for a while. Netscape. Netscape Navigator and Netscape Communicator. Gopher. Dialing into the bulletin board. Edit. Holy crap. This blew up. Yeah, I'm sorry but I cannot reply to this many comments lol. Thank you for the awards. I'm aware this is not technically the internet. But it was a precursor and one of the things that made the internet possible. Much love. Yeah, bsing. I'm glad I'm not the only one that remembers doing that. Those that don't know, that was pre-internet where you had to dial each site individually. Now that is old school. When we used to risk getting viruses just to get cool curses. Or smileys for your instant messenger like AIM, MSN, or Yahoo Messenger. Playing pool in Yahoo chat rooms. I used to love that pool game on Yahoo. Wasted loads of time on that. Oh man my buddy and I would play Yahoo pool for hours every day after school while simultaneously grinding on RuneScape together back in junior high high school. Dude lived like two blocks away and we spend more time playing games online than hanging out in person. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. So much time perfecting skins. So much time perfecting skinchinessly that's kind of one of the things I miss the most about old internet. Everything was unique down to the individual user. Flashing marquees. Neon text on a different neon color background. Dancing gifs everywhere. The entire internet had this cobbled together look like an old alley in Hong Kong. Now everything looks the same. Like digital urban sprawl. The entire internet had this cobbled together look like an old alley in Hong Kong. Damn that is the perfect image to describe what it was like. ASL. I definitely inflated my A from 11 to 16 in the early days of ICQ. Using 16 slash F Cali when I was really 11 slash F middle of nowhere. Because I just had to seem cool and sophisticated to everyone else in the chat room. Having to clean the gunk out of your trackball mouse with your fingernail. I am so glad I don't have to boil eggs for the new mouse balls anymore. Really had to boil them a long time to get that good grey color and rubbery texture. Signing up for a new email address and the username not already being taken. Glorious times. I took like every free email with my first name and my first name and surname combination which was a mastermind move when I was 12. It sucks to be whoever has the same name as me though. Same. I forgot the passwords for many of them but I was able to recover them all. Not being able to play Flash games until the Flash player had been updated. Having to update Flash player every time you turned the computer on. Ducker updated hourly and never got any better. It's like me if I was an app. 
putting a music CD into the computer to check out the extras only for it to load way too slow to do anything with. The limited edition Deftones album White Pony had a little game on it. I had forgotten all about that. Thanks for reminding me. Back to school's single CD doubled as an electronic press kit which was pretty novel and forward thinking. Making AOL away messages in the funky fonts and colors, and those MIDI sound files that played on a loop, and those dress up dolls, it would take ages to download all of those images. Remember desktop themes? Changing all your icons, mouse pointer, computer sounds, etc. to images and sounds from, like, doctor, cats, professional therapist or whatever. Encarta. Anyone else remember that trivia game built into Encarta, where you had to answer trivia questions to get through this castle where everyone was basically frozen creepily into place and couldn't be freed unless you made it to the end. You mean mine, maze? Young nerdy me loved that game. If going on a long car journey, having to print off directions from MapQuest, and the first three pages were how to get out of your driveway. Lycos, NetZero, AOL, Angelfire, porn pop-ups everywhere on every site, people afraid of cookies, I love you virus, 56k modem noises, P2P filishering, Angelfire, I remember everyone, not everyone but Iquim, having their own random web pages, eyes bombarded by animated gifs, needing to turn speakers down before the pages loaded and the 8-bit songs started playing, web rings, it was so fun and innocent back then. Blogs that weren't solely geared to promote the blogger slash products, but honest personal thoughts and experiences. I remember when I was looking for objects to download to The Sims 1 and I stumbled upon Sims porn. I started crying. Hamster dance is one I think of a lot. Badger. 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 Mushroom mushroom. ICQ. And that O alert when you got a message. Holy shit. The nostalgia I had reading that. I immediately heard it in my head. I miss ICQ. The flower icon. Edit. 35 slash F Canada for everyone asking lol. Having to physically carry your computer around to a friend's house if you wanted to play multiplayer. Lugging my 21 inches monitor to LAN parties was brutal. Airborne's world. End of Z world. But I'm not tired. Well have a nap. Then fire ZE missiles. Edit. Fixed the nap line to the correct one. Ask Jeeves. I remember me and a friend using Ask Jeeves at school and thinking we had to type things in as questions. Second grade our teacher polled the class what to ask Jeeves because we thought we only got one question. We went with, Jeeves, why is it called a pair of pants but not a pair of shirt? Strong bad emails. Trogda the Burninator. Trogda comes in the night. Badger 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 mushroom. Mushroom. It's a snark. Muds. Multi-user domains dungeons. They were the text only precursors to games like WoW and EverQuest. Having to be invited to Gmail. I still use the email address from my original invitation. OMG yes. I forgot about that. I do remember having to invite it to Facebook. Old websites written in a notepad file with basic HTML using tables for spacing, formatting and images that took forever to load. This included lower than low fee MIDI audio files that auto played when the site loaded and webring affiliation links at the bottom of the page. People thought making a personal page look professional meant it looked like a newspaper column with a table of contents link list on the left side in traditional Roman numeral style list. Don't forget the counter. Dial up. And that unforgettable tone sequence while connecting. Every time we logged on a robot had to die. That was the heavy price we each paid in the before times. Lemuar. Ah yes. Lemuar was like having unprotected sex with the internet. Guaranteed virus. My favorite song I ever downloaded on Lemuar was Sweet Child O' Mine. Eggs. Neopets. Duck. I forgot to feed my Neopets. Geocities. Angelfire. Tripod. Actually having to switch on the internet, opening the shortcut, typing password and clicking connect and then waiting for the dubstep music to finish. Alta Vista. Waiting for the nude picture to slowly reveal itself because of the slow speed. 
starting a 10 minute clip porn download on Limuire before you left for school and still having to wait for it to finish when you got home. Then have your dad get mad BC of so many viruses on his computer. Rotten. Com. A place that, at the time, had the unthinkable. Prior to that you had an odd copy of Faces of Death VHS floating around. When Amazon just sold books. Newgrounds. Flash animation websites. Flash games hundreds of creations. Finished or not. Wiped out. Waiting 5 minutes for a photo of Sarah M. Geller see through top to slowly appear on screen. All links were underlined. Miniclip. The creepy dancing baby. There was a golden era of internet. Back when it wasn't overpopulated and monetized, it wasn't thought to be cool or something other than nerds did. Open bracket. Back when being nerdy was uncool as well. Back when flash games and viral videos were very much tightly circulated and shared collectively with a hilarious community. Websites were much more reading and menu navigating. Back when this really cool, suppressed, starters of the meme, and not well known culture wasn't the social norm. Honestly, this era might be looked back on in the future as the greatest example of mankind making something so great, so connecting, and so powerful that they forgot to think of the consequences of it, and paid. Back when it started, it was much more pure. Content that was pushed by communities and not algorithms. It was looked at as a place to escape. Now it's filled with manipulation, causes mental disorders and depression, and had caused more divide than any war before it. We allowed it to become corrupted because of greed political gains or simply by allowing hate to dictate our lives. It's hard to say, but maybe one day it may lead us to such a dark place. One that is filled with such human indecency we can't come back from or recover as a species. Edit. I wanted to give my frame of reference because I thought it might be relevant. I come from a very unique age group. About the 40-30 year olds. I say this because. We are the age group who were old enough to remember what it was like before the internet. And yet young enough to still have it in our teens. However, we understood it and its early stages better than the older generation. Almost to the point it was non-existent for them until after smartphones or more feature-like applications came out. I feel it gives us a unique perspective on how much it's changed us. One day, a lot of us will have thoughts in our later years on how the world used to be different. For so many reasons I couldn't begin to explain. If you think of it. There really can't be anything as revolutionary as the internet to witness at such a prime age. One day, everyone was just connected. We had limitless information, and ways to always be informed. We really had it all at one point and never realized it. Addicting games. All your base are belong to us. You're the man now oh dog, YTMND, Dogpile, and any other search compiler. Aim. Kaza before Limuire after Napster. The original peanut butter jelly time video. Gopher. No Yi. Having none to one ad in a YouTube video. And the ad would usually just be a pop up box at the bottom of the screen. Charlie the Unicorn goes to Candy Mountain. Ma. Hang up the phone you just kicked me off the web. Bree a pudding dip sinks. Prodigy. Nobody else remembers Usenet, I earned workplace cred by following key groups. For me it's the ICQ message sound AO. Netflix being on disk. 286 processor. Telnet to production. Ad free YouTube. Board, com. Fingering someone on a Unix system. Dial up tone. The counter at the bottom of each page so you can see how many people have been there. The dancing baby. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.